pregnant tumors of head and neck. Thanks a lot. Oh, sorry, mouth cavity, career surgery of malignant tumors of mouth cavity. Are the topical issues of this type of tumor? As of today, the level of uh, mortality of population uh, in developed countries uh, due to the mouth cavity malignant uh, neoplasms is pretty high. Mouth cavity tumors, tongue tumors are rather aggressive. Annually, some 300,000 new cases of uh, mouth cavity cancer are registered. 180,000 deaths, average age of patients uh, is 57. And uh, the ratio of men women is uh, three to one, mainly men. Uh, the uh, leaders in diagnosing new cases uh, is India, 120,000 new cases annually. Russia is number eight in this list uh, with 10,000 new cases of um, mouth cavity cancer annually. General treatment standards. Uh, Initial stages, surgery is the standard, plus uh, radiotherapy. As uh, for the locally advanced uh, mouth cavity cancer, number one, the leader is surgery in combination with chemo and radiotherapy. Now, let me mention the history of career surgery. For the first time, the method of application career destruction was published by Cooper, yet in the year 1963. They used the application method for treatment of a mouth cavity um, cancer. In the year 65, there was issued the article by Andrew Gage. They also used the application method in five patients only. Uh, that was the malignant neoplasms of a lip and mouth cavity. Later, Andrea Gage published uh, an article with a bigger selection of patients. At uh, five years of availability, it was on this slide. Advantages uh, of uh, cryodestruction. Oral cavity is easy to access. Uh, High humidity allows for the fa for fast distribution of the ice ball. Uh, local anesthesia is possible. Uh, uh, further interventions, uh, recurrent interventions are also possible with reduced bleeding risk and infection risks and fast healing uh, of uh, the uh, post-surgery suture, high um, percentage of um, Cure and uh, organ uh, saving intervention. Leukoplakia is possible for both uh, uh, benign and malignant tumors in oral cavity application method. The article of uh, 2012 12, uh, has uh, the sample of 60 patients with uh, leukoplakia. Um, when you send a, a query, uh, for from 1917 to 2021, there were only 16 uh, research results uh, for uh, in articles uh, for cryodestruction in oral cavity. Our um, study, the inclusion criteria, morphological verification, um, the squamous uh, cell cancer, oral squamous cell cancer. Um, the distribution of primary tumor and uh, the refusal of patients to go into surgery. For all our trial patients, uh, we first delivered near adjuvant uh, therapy, then uh, puncture cryodestruction, followed by chemo um, and radiotherapy. We used uh, um, puncture cryodestruction in 30 patients so far. The localization, it's uh, the first, uh, um, the prime area, uh, buccal mucosa, uh, retromolar area, and uh, molar uh, 
area of submandibula. Uh, so, and we used uh, the uh, intravena contrasting and uh, uh, ultrasound uh, control. That's how we planned uh, the depth uh, and uh, the cryoprobe uh, use cycles. Uh, we use uh, the visual control, a uh, palpation, and uh, uh, ultrasound machine. On this slide, you see the be beginning of cryo destruction of the tongue side. This is the beginning of the cryoablation of the tongue and uh, cryoablation in uh, retromolar area. In the ball uh, sphere temperature was uh, controlled uh, with the uh, thermal pairs uh, and uh, displayed on the screen. Usually we do three cycles uh, in uh, uh, cryopuncturing uh, with passive thawing and you see the thawing period uh, on this slide. A clinical case, a female with metastatic uh, uh, lesion of uh, neck uh, um, lymphatic nodes and uh, uh, right buccal, buccal um, tumor. She didn't uh, want to go into the surgery and was proposed uh, the cryo destruction uh, with uh, uh, in including the lymphatic node. Here we see the neck uh, lymphadectomy um, on this uh, on the side of her neck and setting cryo probes uh, into the right uh, buccal uh, of our patient. Uh, the um, we see the edema and the second uh, day after puncture cryo destruction. So uh, edema uh, is expected uh, at uh, the second day after the surgery, post-surgery, it is uh, at uh, its maximum. The sixth day, uh, the cryonecrosis is formed. And uh, on day 14, we remove necrotic tissues. You see the uh, stage after necrotomy on day 14. Our practice. Uh, in our practice, we saw patients with um, complete response uh, to the treatment. So, so functions uh, was uh, compromised at minimum and patients uh, are alive and active. Total survivability, overall survivability for this whole cohort uh, was at 63%. And one year uh, relapse free uh, Survivability is 73%. Uh, recurrence uh, at, at progression was at six cases. Local uh, recurrence just for one patient and metastatic uh, damage uh, to regional lymphatic nodes uh, um, also to number of patients. Factors which impact uh, overall survivability are the tumor staging and localization of the primary tumor. And there are factors which impacted uh, relapse-free surveillability again, the tumor stage and uh, localization of the primary tumor. Thank you.